Scouts, we have with us here a very special guest. We have County Forester, Miss Katrina Koning, who works with the Florida Forest Service. Miss Katrina, can you tell us a little bit about what you do as a forester in Suwannee County? A big part of my job is uh, helping people plant trees, which uh, is important for many reasons. Uh, I really like helping people establish their forests and also keep them healthy. So planting trees, hugging them, keeping them healthy, that's what I do most. Fantastic. Now, we are doing this virtual campery and we're learning all about survival skills and things to do in the outside. Can you give us a little bit about what scouts can do to help with their families to be more sustainable? Well, I definitely know that you guys advocate the pack in, pack out, which that's definitely, uh, if everyone could do that, that would be amazing. So I applaud you guys for that initiative. Def another thing that's very easy to incorporate is recycling, but also upcycling. So you don't always have to throw something away. You can transform it into something else that you can use. So reducing, reusing, recycling, but upcycling is kind of my favorite because you can get very creative with it, especially a family project. You can really yeah, think outside of the box and have a really cool thing that you guys make together. Great, now I know that our scouts love to be out in the wilderness. What could they do to help nature? Could they do that something in their backyards, make butterfly gardens? What suggestions do you have for our scouts? If we're trying to, to better the environment and help nature and do that in our own backyards, there are a million ways to do it. Personally, from experience, I have started a butterfly garden in my backyard. I put in some native plants. So for me, it's very important when people go ahead and try to do that beautification to their house or bring more oxygen in, you know, just pretty it up or have that project together that you choose to live. It's very important because just because you buy something at, you know, a big box store and it's in your geographical location, I mean that it's really the best thing to be there. So keep an eye on native plants and native pollinator sporting plant so I have some uh, red buckeye I have some Walters viburnum I some things that aren't maybe as popular in the nursery section but they bring hundreds of bugs birds little squirrels all all that wildlife so I have milkweed as well milkweed is the only plant that the monarch butterfly caterpillars eat in the entire world so if you want to make a small little difference I say put in some milkweed it's a, it's a good choice Thank you for that. Now, uh, do you have some encouraging words for scouts who are getting out there um, after we've been inside for so long? What should they do? And something that ties it into what you love so much about your job. So I working from home like a lot of you guys, but I still need to be outside I'm outside my house right now. So I definitely understand that I sympathize. What I have been doing with my friends, we actually did take a small camping trip, a few of us these past couple of days and we started taking pictures of the different plants and animals that we found. And there's a, a couple different apps. I'm not sure which one you're using, but there's an app that it identifies what you've seen and then it logs it. And so my one friend, he's from Miami, he showed me all the things he had seen. There's just the different plant communities down there. There's different animals and wildlife down there. And so I started doing that up here. And now it's something that we kind of do as a group of, you know, 20 something year olds. We're like, oh, I just found a, a mud dauber wasp. Like, oh, I just found this kind of flower. So I think it's really cool. I'm not sure if other people would, you know, be nerd out like I have on it, but you identify the plants and start to recognize them. You start to see them more. And then you can see how those ecosystems build upon each other. So I think it's a, that's a really cool thing. Just understanding the little tiny little Lego parts of the community and then you can start to see how they all build on each other. I can try to get that app to you guys. That would be fantastic because right now we're combining being out in the world and, and technology as you know. Well that's it. Thank you so much. Thank you for it and uh, Scouts as we do, leave no trace. Thank you for our Forester and uh, Scout on. Scout on! <laughs>